breaking news. Tonight we have video from the air and the ground of the train that derailed in Dodge County. This drone video shows you a number of the cars that went off the rails now left lying on the tracks in a zigzag pattern and video from the ground shows several other cars that derailed. Now from the drone video, it looked like the train was out in the country, but it's so long that it's blocking Main Street in Reeseville. Reeseville is a village in Dodge County that's between Beaver Dam and Watertown and east of Columbus. That's where Caroline Dade is right now, and she's got you covered on what happened. Caroline. Hey, Brendan, Brandon, right now I am live on Main Street right in the middle of Reeseville and within the past five minutes, this street opened up. It's the Main Street going through town and for nearly four hours this afternoon, it was completely shut down. That's because right before two, this train from Canadian Pacific derailed 29 cars off the tracks just to the west of town. The assistant fire chief says the train was carrying grain and pot ash, but no hazardous materials. About half an hour ago, I talked with a man whose business is right on Main Street. He says he didn't hear the derailment, but he quickly saw the after effects. Well, the, the train was going pretty fast, and then all of a sudden we just saw it. I was looking out the window, and I just saw it uh, just start slowing down real fast. And I was like, well, that's strange. And then, yeah. The Dodge County Sheriff says no one got hurt when the cars derailed, but the cleanup of those derailed cars is going to take a while. Originally, the sheriff thought Main Street was going to be closed until 8, maybe even 10 o'clock tonight. But right now it is back open. You can see cars. They're driving across those train tracks yet again. For now, live in Reeseville, Caroline Dade, 27 News. All right, thank you.